Hi, Senior Vikings. We are so excited to celebrate you for your high school graduation on Sunday, June 6th at 8 o'clock p.m. Graduation will take place at Hall Stadium, and this will be an outdoor event. Just a few reminders of the Viking Way. This is a formal celebration to honor you and your families. Please make sure that you're continuing to abide by the social distancing guidelines of three feet apart. Cell phones need to remain out of sight once the ceremony begins. Be sure to use the restroom before arriving to the stadium. And then of course, please show love, kindness, and respect as you always do. This is a formal affair but it is going to be outdoors in a hot Houston summer night. So please make sure that you are planning accordingly in regards to what you wear. A few suggestions for males would be slacks and a short sleeved collared shirt. A suggestion for females would be a light sundress and sandals. No heels will be allowed on the turf. No purses or bags will be allowed either. So make sure you are leaving these items with your relatives. Here is a map of the stadium and parking. When you are arriving to Hall Stadium, if you have a last name A through L, you'll enter through the Hurricane Lane entrance, park in this guest parking lot, and then enter through the home side. If you have a last name M through Z, you will enter through the Trammell Fresno Road entrance, park in this guest parking lot, and then enter through the visitor side. We will email this map out so you can prepare ahead of time. Please arrive at the Hall Stadium no later than 6.45 p.m. to ensure that you have enough time for your wellness screening and check-in. If you have a last name A through L, you will enter through the home side. Last names M through Z will enter through the visitor side. When you arrive to Hall Stadium, your gown should be draped over your arm upon check-in. You will check in with your campus staff at the designated gate entry. At the check-in table, you will receive your name card, then proceed to a seat. After you have checked in, you will then put your gown on and zip up. Before the ceremony, you will be seated in the order in which you arrive. Follow the directions of the staff member at each row. Please stay in your seat, which was sanitized prior to your arrival. The staff member assigned to your row is there to assist with any questions that you may have. During the ceremony, be a respectful audience member. Be attentive of your row leader. They will provide directions on when to stand to walk to the stage. When you walk to the stage, please bring your name card to the podium and hand it through the plexiglass shield. After you receive your diploma cover, please move your tassel and walk down the center aisle in two lines to take your photo. After your photo is taken, you will return to your original seat. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through the receiving of your diploma based on this diagram. So beginning with letter A, this is your initial lineup. Like I said previously, make sure that you are being attentive to your row leader. They will let you know when to stand. When you are ready to exit your row, if you are on the home side, you are going to exit to the right. If you are on the visitor side, you are going to exit to the left. As you are walking to the stage, make sure that you are aware of the markings on the ground to remain three feet apart. When you are ready to receive your diploma, you will hand your name card to the name caller through the plexiglass partition. Once your name is called, you will then receive your diploma cover. Once your diploma cover is received, you will walk down the middle aisle to the photo station. Please make sure that you go to your designated photo station based on the home or visitor side. Once you've taken your photo with your diploma cover, you will then proceed back to your original row and original seat. Your row leader will be there to guide you. Here are some visuals for you as well. So again, you're gonna line up with your name card. Please don't forget that. You're going to hand your name card through the plexiglass and then you will receive your diploma cover once your name is said. 
After the ceremony, you may participate in the school song. You also are allowed to throw your cap up during the school song at the blue. So when we say red, white, and blue, you will throw your cap. You will need to exit the same way that you, sorry about that. You will need to exit the same way that you came in to meet your family and friends in the parking lot. After graduation, we will host diploma pickup. So when you receive your diploma cover, you will not have your actual diploma in there. You will need to pick it up from the school along with your transcript. You can begin to pick up your diplomas on June 21st through June 23rd. Those, time, those pickup times will be 8 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. The staff will then break for lunch and then will be available for pickup again at 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. Again, those dates are June 21st through June 23rd. Yearbook distribution dates and times will be sent to your school email. So make sure that you look for those date and times so you can pick up your yearbooks if you purchased. Lastly, graduation will be live streamed. So if you have family and friends who are unable to make it, you can view online at www.fortbendisd.com slash grad media. Seniors, we are so incredibly proud of you. We cannot wait to watch, watch you walk the stage on June 6th at 8 o'clock p.m. Just a few more days and you are a high school graduate. Again, congratulations, Vikings. You did it.